that channeled their Gemini energy, you know, how did they do it? And, you know, what did they use? And then how did it help them and how did it benefit others? So then, Gemini in my life is the big one. Now, last couple seasons ago, we did Aries in my life, Cardinal Fire. So that was when we, um, you know, you know, they chose a famous alien, their experiences, what they did and said, you know, whatever. What did they learn from the person? How did that person inspire them? How did they make them feel strong? And, you know, what is the good-bad dynamics of the relationship? Similarities and differences, likes and dislikes, all that kind of stuff. So that's what you're going to be doing with Gemini subjects. Okay, Gemini subjects. Um, so, uh, well, no, it's actually Gemini my life. So that's the next thing that I'm going to talk about. So that will be due on June 20th. June 20th. So you have from now until that time to work on that project. And what I'm going to do is you don't need to worry, you know, you can start it, you can find somebody, it doesn't matter how close, friend, business person, family member, you can find somebody um, in, your, I mean, in your life who's a Gemini. So that's your first task. And then finding out, um, like, how did they, you know, how did they use the words to inspire you? What did they, what did you learn from them? How did they learn from you with their words. Um, how do you, you know, good, bad dynamics? How do you feel around them? Um, how does that person inspire you? Those are basically all the questions and your experience um, in socialization with that person. So, May 27th, I'm going to be going over Gemini in my life and all of the, um, all of the logistics to that. Um, so Gemini subjects. Now I hope that you have, um, you know, you know, I haven't really, but already selected something to read. Um, you can do all of these categories, or you know, one or two out of fiction, informational reading like facts and fiction. You always look at that, and then astral reading. What we're reading and discussing and speaking. You know, when I'm doing channelizing Gemini energy, um, and this. You know, you know, this is good in itself, you know, you know, but we do that for every season. So, add in, you know, the reading, fiction, or informational. Gemini is all about, you know, this using your brain to comprehend words and likes to learn. And you, um, you heard what Deborah Silverman, you know, had to say about, you know, reading, um, books and having a fascination for everything. So, besides this, Find something else um, dealing with those categories if you can, if you can. But that is what I would require recommend for you. So um, let's see. So, um, but I did tell the whole event in that. So um, we'll um, we'll look at songs and music for that as a whole collective uh, event. So, now what we're going to be doing is, this will be the last that you're going to look at this. Um, now we're going to flip it over, and I'm going to show you what we're going to be reading. I'm going to show you what reading we're going to be getting into here. So, for the reading, for the reading, for the introduction section, because it's critical that you read that before you read anything else. So I've kind of written out a little bit of a schedule of um, what we're going to be reading and learning about in what days. So May 25th, which is today, um, El Viente Cinco de Mayo. Um, so we're going to look at the I Think phrase. I think, you know, it should be... You know, apparently using self-explanatory. The lessons to be learned from Gemini um, is all that we're going to take a look at today. So we're just barely going to start getting into reading. And then I think what I'll do is on the 27th, 
we'll get into the mythology, which will be really super duper interesting, uh, 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 you know, generally, because astrology is psychology, you know, psyche, brain, thinking, you know, internal mind, how it all works. Astrology uh, also has to do, you know, the layout, the real picture is astronomy, you know, the stars and the planets and all that kind of stuff. And then you add in math and symbology, you know, symbols, you know, dealing with symbols and math, root, you know, roots, and also mythology. There's mythology because all of these signs are archetypes. They're all archetypes. And Gemini is an archetype. And also it's symbol. So the symbol, the modality, the planet, the element, all those things have to, you know, come back to the sign and influencing personality, plus sign acts, characteristics, and traits, and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get into the mythology section when Deborah and Melody are here. And I, I also have set a, a lot of plans for them as well. So a lot of stuff going on at one time. It's just insane craziness. And might have to get the image together to organize a couple of things tonight. But that's how it is. You know, there's a lot of things at the mention going on at one time. So it's crazy. It's crazy. It's unpredictable. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to read just the very, very beginning. And then that will be it for today. I know that this has been long. I know that you've been in for a while, but thank you for bearing with me. I appreciate it. So what I want you to do now is open um, um, open up your Gemini books, okay? So um, get those out now, okay? And it has the day, and um, so it has the um, the sign, the color of it, the date range, and the cusp range. Um, Taurus, Gemini, or Gemini, Cancer. The constellation, and if you get a telescope, and, and you, if you look at, you know, the stars and constellations at night, I think, uh, you know, on a clear night, when it's not cloudy, at least this time of year, you can see the constellation, and also Colin Bedell is the author. So, when you open it up, which you should already put your birth information in, um, it has the front cover, the front cover of it, as you can see, Zodiac Sign Gemini. Um, and then inside, when you turn it, it has the, like, the publishing sources and all that kind of stuff. And then, it, it, all of these books are the same format, but they're all written by different authors. Um, and they all have different writing styles, as you're going to see. So, Taurus season ones, for those of you who were members, you know, I was directing it. It was really light. It was like reading. It was really interpersonal. You used a lot of examples. It, it was, there was not a lot of meat to it. And you could tell what was the big, important, main, you know, meat as to what real details. And then what was the more, you know, genuine example, particularly with the as a child section. But so to my Gemini, Gemini twin, Courtney, who helped me find my voice and my words. So, you know, when you write books, it was a dedication. So, on the back of it, I'm just going to read to you. So, astrology is the vital tool for understanding our place in the world and the universe forces that move around us. So our place in the world, you know, how we were born, you know, what is our purpose, all those planetary placements and different signs determining us. I'm determining how we act. Um, and the universe forces that move around us. So our place in the world. What we have been put in on this earth, on this life to do. A cosmic calling rather than a fated destiny. Our astrological sign is the key to uncovering our mission here on Earth. Learn about how your sun sign grows from child to adult, fits in at school and work, and functions best as a friend level parent more. And these practical and empowering guides to the signs 
and temporarily as travelers teach you to use this dynamic language to better understand yourself and the people around you. Because that's, you know, the main goal of astrology. Understanding yourself and falling in love with yourself and then having appreciation, you know, in the same things for everyone around you. So, the introduction. The introduction. Very, very first. Just very, very beginning. And then if you turn to the table of contents, on the contents page, it has, you know, like anyone, it has the different, it has the introduction, and then, the, you know, the starting page, and then along the left side are all of the, um, you know, the left column are all the chapter titles, I mean, the chapter numbers, middle is the chapter type, the, and the titles, Gemini, as a blank, or you know, whatever area of like. Then, um, the, you know, the starting page, um, and then the ending page. It's from one to you know, the end of that fourth category, or, you know, the end of that one to the next one. You know, I think that you get it. So, now the, um, uh, now the introduction. So, um, let's see here. So, hmm, yeah, um, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that today. Okay, so I, I, um, I don't think that we're going to be doing the introduction today. Okay, so, to, so two days from now, okay, two days from now, on May 27th, Okay, May 27th, um, we're going to get into the reading and get into everything, okay? Um, or, um, or we may just talk about it tomorrow. So actually what's going to happen is tomorrow in the morning at about 9, we're going to all come here and we're going to get into just the very, very beginning of the, um, of the reading for Gemini. So, um, and so that's going to be tomorrow morning at 9. Okay, at, well, uh, make it 10, make it 10. So tomorrow morning at 10, we're going to come here and we're going to start getting into the reading. Uh, because I think that you're all exhausted. I know this has been long. You've been in here in a while. And I think that we all just need to break and start fresh tomorrow. So, uh, I know what you're all thinking, like, when are you going to get out of here? It's like, you know, I just, you know, like, you know, when is this going to be over? These, those kind of thoughts. And I can understand. I, you know, I can read your mind and what you're thinking. So, that's why tomorrow we're going to get into it. And then we'll be meeting again at the regular time. Um, at 1 on the 27th. Okay, so th um, does that sound good to everybody? Okay, wonderful. Thank you. So you can all leave.